Hey guys, people have asked me to do a video on electric Blue Jack Dempsey's and actually have some good experience. I bred them from about 2009 to 2012 when they were a little bit uh, just becoming a little more popular and getting a little more stable here in the United States. I'm going to give you in this video kind of a rundown of what is an electric Blue Jack Dempsey. I'm going to tell you some basic tips and tricks, tricks for raising them out and some cautions for raising them out. And then I'll also give you some tips on breeding them. I've bred about nine or so different pairs of electric blue Dempsey's, raised out fry and sold them, bought from multiple different breeders, uh, different pairs. And so I have some good experience with that and been pretty successful with that during that time. I don't have any right now, so we're going to be doing this video in front of my super red Texas tank. I got two male grow outs here and then a two breeder, a male and female there. But Let's start. What is an electric blue Jack Dempsey? An electric blue Dempsey is actually a wild genetic morph of the fish. It's not a hybrid. It is a true Jack Dempsey. And God made it where the, the fish, the Jack Dempsey's just happen to have that blue genes. And when two fish with those blue genes mate together, um, that genetic morph comes out. Now, so it is a wild variant, but the problem is with that gene, that heavy blue gene, the fish are actually weaker. Um, and so there's some drawbacks. So um, an electric blue jack Dempsey is a cross between the two of them. You pretty much have to have two um, fish with those genes and bring them together. There is no outward appearance that a fish, a jack Dempsey, is a blue gene carrying jack Dempsey. None. Unless it's an electric blue, you have no way to know that it's a just went out of focus. There's no way to know that it's actually an electric blue Dempsey or has the blue gene unless you know how it's bred. So really basically if you breed a, if you take two fish that have the blue gene together um, and breed them together, normal Jack Dempsey, we call them blue gene Jack Dempsey's and you breed them together, you're going to get 50% uh, normal, you're going to get 25 electric yeah, 25% electric blue and 25% blue gene, right? So the electric blue ones, you'll be able to tell differently from the um, other ones, but you won't be able to know which one's normal and which one's blue gene. If you take an electric blue Dempsey and you breed it with a blue gene Jack Dempsey, you're going to get 50% electric blue and 50% uh, um, 50 blue gene. And so you'll get about half-half, roughly. Those are just the rough genetic numbers. Um, and so then all those fries that are normal will be blue jean um, carrying fry. And so you'll be, be able to have those. Uh, two electric blue Dempsey's, um, nobody that I know have still to this point has been able to successfully do that. Some people have had them have babies, but the babies have all died. The, the recessive gene there is just too powerful and makes the fish too weak. Um, <clears throat> so that's what an electric blue Jack Dempsey is. Wild fish, um, Jack Dempsey. Some of the temperaments is they aren't as aggressive as an electric blue Dempsey. Um, or as a normal Jack Dempsey, the electric blues commonly aren't as aggressive. They commonly don't grow as big. They grow slower and they are a lot more susceptible to diseases. Some of the common diseases, they have eye problems very commonly. Um, they are extremely susceptible to internal parasites and I've even seen a lot of short deformed fins come from electric blue Dempsey's. Um, one of the problems why you won't see them wild is when you breed a pair, the electric blues grow so much slower and they're not as aggressive that the um, the blue gene and the standard ones actually kill them. And they, they straight up, yeah, just kill them when they're babies. So you gotta separate them as a, uh, at a young stage. Now I have had an electric blue male that was about seven, eight inches and very mean and kept up with the other fish, but 99% of the electric blues I've had and seen just don't do that. Um, you'll see a lot of them have like little beak faces. Their faces kind of come down into a hump shape and that's just kind of with the genetics. Those are not high quality ones, I, I, I say. Like a strong looking electric blue Dempsey is really hard because people for years have, you would have to take like a blue Dempsey, breed it with a normal one, find which ones are blue genes and try that after growing them out. It's a lot of work to try to get that standard Jack Dempsey gene uh, genes back into electric blue Dempsey's. Um, so a lot of work raising them. Um, it was some of the hardest things ever. Most of them die young. It used to be then that nobody could get them past two to three inches. They would all die. Still even now I 
I only see a few that get four to five inches. Most of them die young, so you'll see them in the store and they'll die. Um, I don't wouldn't feed them anything. I was very careful. No bloodworms. Bloodworms would kill them every single time. No fish, like uh, even Hikari's frozen bloodworms that are bio frozen three times over or whatever. Um, I fed them to them. They would get internal parasites and die within a few days every time, 100% of the time. I've tried it. It just doesn't work. Um, I looked it up to like truly be able to rid eternal parasites from like frozen fish, tilapia and stuff. You have to freeze that at a negative ridiculous number for like two and a half weeks to fully get rid of everything. So I don't use that frozen stuff. Um, so that's something with it. Uh, you need to be able to grow them out in an area that's with less aggressive fish commonly. I was so strict I would never let one net go into a tank and into another tank. My tanks were 100% separate. The water change hoses, the buckets, the nets, all completely different. I did not introduce anything new into the tank while raising them out. So it can be a lot of work um, getting them. That's why people when they're bigger, if you can buy a bigger one, it probably had stronger genes and was able to make it that far and they're usually a little more healthy although they can still be kind of delicate. Um, that's electric blue dempsies. There's so much to uh, to cover with those. Um, breeding the electric blue dempsies, I touched on it a little bit. You need an electric blue male um, with a um, blue jean female. That's usually the common common breeding that people would do. Um, you need to know that it's blue jean. The only way to know that it's blue jean is it really if you got it from a reputable source that says it's blue jean. A lot of bre breeders don't want to release the blue jeans because it's kind of like an easy out for people. I think I paid like $200 for a blue jean female before. Um, but I had my own different blue jeans there. You can breed two blue jeans if they're confirmed together. You can actually get some stronger electric blues that way um, just because they have more Jack Dempsey jeans to them, standard Jack Dempsey jeans, but it can be harder to find only 25%. Um, when growing them out, uh, culling them or in separating the blue jeans from the, or the electric blues from the non-electric blues was really important at a young age, about maybe a little bigger than a quarter inch. Um, was you know real small was when I would separate them out and you would just start being able to tell that the blues were looking a little white they looked a little bit neon white and once you can start telling that difference I separated them all out to grow out separately um, and you have to be on that otherwise the Jack Dempsey's will just kill them off way fast so once you can tell that difference go ahead and separate them out I hatched baby brine shrimp for mine um, and I used that I I like to feed, if I'm going to feed any frozen fish or anything, I like to feed fresh or saltwater fish to my freshwater fish. So um, shrimp or different saltwater fish, because a lot of those basic diseases don't transfer over. Um, so I'd use shrimp to feed them. Um, some tips and tricks, same with, I have a video on breeding tips and tricks using that. I always use shrimp to fatten up my female Jack Dempsey's before breeding. Um, common dividers, dark lights, water changes. I had multiple Jack Dempsey spawn in that while doing a water change in fresh water. Um, that's most of the uh, most of the inf information on electric blue Jack Dempsey's. You just got to understand they're really hard to raise. They're so susceptible to um, diseases and problems. You got to be very careful what you grow them out with. They're delicate. Um, breeding, you got to know that you come from a reputable source and get a nice male with uh, some, with uh, you know, strong females. What I usually recommend. Um, it's not easy. If you have any other questions about these, feel free to you know ask me. I think there's so much more to go into that. I realize it's a nine-minute video and it barely scratched the surface. But if you got any questions, just give me a holler. I spent a lot of time, um, and I'd be glad to help you out. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.